The makings of a meth lab. That's what new court documents say the police found in a college dorm room. As you can see here, campus police were called to Wilson Hall at Christopher Newport University last month to investigate a possible mobile meth lab. The Newport News police, police searched a nearby vehicle and found marijuana and drug paraphernalia inside. No charges have been filed. Tonight, 10 on your sides and McNamara unca uncovered what police found inside a student's bedroom. Wilson Hall, room 231. That's where police showed up after reports of a loud noise and a drug complaint. Residents say they heard what sounded like an explosion and smelled something strange. Didn't smell naturally, a few chemicals, uh, like walking to a chemistry lab. This CNU student lives in room 230, right across the hall from the room where police found, quote, precursors and actual liquid product of a meth lab sitting out in plain view. The air in the dorm room also tested positive for two chemicals consistent with the makings of meth. Yes, we're just fortunate that nothing bad happened besides the smell. The next day, police answered a second call to the same room. The caller said one of the suspects went back in after mentioning suicide to a school staffer. Police arrested the suspect for trespassing, and while they were in his bedroom, they found more suspicious items out in the open. A plastic bag full of powder labeled spice, a small amount of marijuana, and a plastic bottle labeled muriatic acid. You may recognize the name. The corrosive chemical is used to adjust the pH in swimming pools and to etch concrete. Police say it also can be used to make methamphetamine. People do stupid things occasionally. People do drugs. It's a fact of life. The fact that it touched here, uh, some people like to believe it's not realistic, but it's everywhere. You can't really stop it. As for the student across the hall, he says he's more worried about studying for finals. That's Ann McNamara reporting now again. Ann says that no charges have been filed, but the school banned two students from campus after this discovery. I'm also told the Commonwealth's attorney's office is still gathering interviews from witnesses for its criminal investigation.